Lando Norris is feeling optimistic about McLaren's performance in battling the Red Bulls this year, and he is convinced that the team can take it up a notch in 2024. But he may want to temper his expectations, because according to credible sources, the RB20 is built to destroy. Records have revealed Christian Horner and Adrian Newey's master plan to dominate the competition next season. And so far, the RB20 sounds like a harder dragon to slay than the RB19. I know you're dying to hear all about it, so stick around and keep watching the video. Even though Red Bull easily clinched both championships, their mission got a bit tougher after Austria. The game changed with significant performance gains when upgrades were installed on Norris's car and later on Oscar Piastri's, transforming the MCL60's capabilities. But for McLaren to close in on Red Bull in 2024, further improvements are essential during the winter. Norris has already notched up the highest points in a single season of his career, signalling a remarkable progression from the McLaren car's early season performance. It sets the stage for his best finish in the standings, underscoring the impressive strides the team has made. While the Brit may not have clinched a victory yet, he's bagged an impressive seven podiums this season, doubling his tally from the start of the campaign. He said, I've just been saying to Max Verstappen, since we bought this upgrade to Austria, I've been the second highest scoring driver on the grid. I think we've been the second highest scoring team, potentially. Of course, we've taken some massive steps forward and at the same time, considering we're talking about fighting the Red Bull, I think it's still a very, very good thing what we've achieved this year. Facing a formidable challenge, with Verstappen in the peak of his performance and the Red Bull car maintaining its edge over the competition, Norris acknowledges the tough road ahead. While he remains optimistic about the prospects for next year, he is fully aware of the challenges that lie ahead, saying, We're talking about one of the best drivers in Formula One ever, in one of the most dominating cars, and for us to go from where we were in Bahrain to getting close and talking about fighting a Red Bull, I think are very good signs for us. We know we still have plenty more things to come next year, so I'm excited. There's no point thinking of it until next year, but I'll be optimistic and I believe we can do it as a team. It might be wise for Lando Norris to keep his mouth shut for now, because although the RB19 has already proven to be a dominant force, Red Bull is rumoured to be gearing up to elevate their game even further for F1 2024. The RB19 is poised to secure a place in Formula 1 history as potentially the greatest car ever witnessed, boasting an impressive record of claiming 19 out of 20 Grand Prix victories in F1 2023. Max Verstappen has etched his name in the records by securing a remarkable 17 of those victories in a season where he effortlessly cruised to a third consecutive World Championship title. With many teams adopting Red Bull's downwash concept due to its success in the current era of ground effect aerodynamics, it seems that Red Bull is gearing up to change the game once again. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, there are reports indicating that the generation and distribution of downforce in the RB20 will be radically different compared to the RB19. The floor and Venturi tunnels are said to operate in an alternative manner, reshaping the approach to create ground effect. The RB20 is being characterized as a challenger that will push the concepts developed on the RB19 to an extreme level. There's a prevailing perception in the paddock that Red Bull is poised to confidently annihilate their rivals once again in F1 2024. While the RB19 doesn't have many weaknesses, it's reported that a potential vulnerability surfaced during Friday qualifying at the Brazilian Grand Prix, particularly in the face of strong winds. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez noted that the car felt slowed down and unbalanced by the gusts, resembling the sensation of suspension damage, an issue the team hadn't encountered previously. And during the debrief, design chief Adrian Newey, who participated remotely due to his involvement in the classic 24 hours at Daytona, reassured the drivers that the concerns raised about the RB19 would not be a factor with the upcoming RB20. Red Bull has notched up an impressive 782 points in F1 2023, surpassing the count of their closest competitors Mercedes by more than double. With two rounds still to go, there's potential for Red Bull to further extend their already commanding tally. There's still unfinished business as Sergio Perez aims to lock in a P2 finish in the Drivers' Championship, a feat that would mark Red Bull's first 1-2 result.
The early signs are already hinting at a formidable force heading into F1 2024, setting an ominous tone for the competition. Christian Horner has made the admission that Red Bull is approaching the pinnacle of their current car concept, anticipating that the competition will intensify, forcing them to navigate more challenges as the field closes in. Red Bull clinched both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships seemingly with ease this season, giving the team the luxury of directing a significant portion of their limited wind tunnel time toward the early development of their 2024 contender, the RB20. Considering the strides made by several teams throughout the season, including significant progress by McLaren, Christian Horner anticipates that Red Bull's rivals could potentially narrow the gap as the new year kicks off. Horner has previously highlighted the stability of the regulations as a chance for other teams to catch up in pace. He explained that the performance level at which Red Bull is currently operating can only ascend to a certain point before other teams catch up with their existing concept. Horner shared his insights when questioned about what the current wind tunnel data reveals about the RB20, saying, It's always difficult to read too much into these things. I think that, you know, there are a lot of world championships that are won in the wind tunnel, based on numbers at this time of year. I think we've got a great car. We've got a great basis. If we keep evolving it, of course, the returns are going to diminish because you're hitting, you know, the top of the curve. You can see it will concertina, it will become closer, and that will stretch us more for sure. The team are very, very motivated. You can see nobody's led off since we won the championship. Everybody's still full on it. Kevin Magnussen said that as a fan, he would find Max Verstappen's dominance a bit boring and repetitive. The Haas driver isn't alone in wishing for a change in the winner's circle, but Christian Horner remains undeterred by such sentiments. The Red Bull team principal acknowledges the transient nature of success, recognising that it doesn't endure indefinitely. He previously experienced the pinnacle of Formula One success with Red Bull during Sebastian Vettel's dominant era. Now, with Max Verstappen, Red Bull has reclaimed the top spot after spending years in the shadow of Mercedes. With those facts in context, Horner told Bloomberg, well, it means that we're doing our job and that we're winning, but the one thing that's guaranteed in this sport is that nothing stands still. And I think, with stable regulations, we can already see teams improving behind us. I think that next year it's going to converge, and we're in for a much more tight championship next year, and also 2025, before another reset with new regulations for 2026. I'm expecting a much, much tougher year in 2024. To maintain their edge over the competition, the team at Milton Keynes is putting in the effort to construct a formidable RB20. Red Bull is far from complacent with their current success and continues to strive for excellence. He added, You're always looking to improve because you can guarantee our competitors are going to be improving. They will be copying some of the philosophy of our car. That's undoubted. We're already seeing that starting to happen, and we just got to keep trying to move the goalposts, to try and keep developing and improving ourselves. Of course, for the last few months, the factory had been very, very focused on that. But, of course, you start to get into diminishing returns. It's going to be tough to improve the RB20 next year significantly from where RB19 has been this year. Formula One should brace itself for yet another season of the Max Verstappen show, the way things are shaping up for Red Bull. Are you looking forward to another season filled with the Dutchman's dominance? Tell us in the comment section down below. And, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.